This video is part two of the three part series. Check the links in the description for the other parts and the introduction which covers the overall architecture. In this video we will configure the device and install AWS IoT Greengrass as well as the KVS Edge Connector component. The next thing we need to do is install Greengrass on the Raspberry Pi. So if we go to the Greengrass service, we can see this button set up one core device. So here we can use the default name for the Greengrass core or you can change it. I'm going to change it to be part of this. Now as we scroll down we can see the steps that we need to do to install Greengrass on the device. So I'll run through these steps very quickly. So the first one is to install Java on the device. Second, we need to configure some AWS credentials on the device. Um, I'll do this using some temporary tokens that we can generate from Cloud Shell from the current logged on user. And then the last part is to run the installer on the device. And you can see that the installer commands have been altered based on the values that you put in at the top there. So that's all that those values did when we added those at the top was change the command that we're going to use when we install the device. So let's switch over to the device and check that Java is installed. So here I've got a freshly created Raspberry Pi image um, that I performed the updates on, but I haven't done anything else other than allow remote access to the device so that I can share the screen. So first of all, let's install Java on the device. Let's check the version. Okay, that's good. The next step is to configure some AWS credentials on the device. So we need to add the access key, secret access key and secret access token. And as I said, I'll use Cloud Shell to generate some temporary credentials. So I'll switch to Cloud Shell. So firstly, let's run a command to get the temporary authorization token. And now we can export the access key ID. I'll just copy and paste that into Raspberry Pi. Now we can get the secret access key. And finally the token. And the next step is to run the installer script, which first of all, we need to download the installer. So I copy that command. And then we can run the installer script. So I'll copy that command.
and that was successful. We can see that successfully set up and we should be able to switch back to the green grass service and see that the core device is there and running. So if I refresh, we can see this hub faulty is healthy. So now we've installed green grass, there's also some other requirements on the device and they can be found on the Edge Connector for Kinesis Video Streams page. But very quickly, we can see that we need GStreamer on the device as that's what the component uses. So we can copy this command, go back to the device and install these components. Okay, that's done. We can go back to the guide and see what else we need to do. So the next step is to make sure that the green grass device can communicate both with SiteWise and with Secrets Manager to get the secrets and also to Kinesis Video in order to put the stream that we can then later view in the dashboard. So to do this, we need to change the policy or update the policy for the Greengrass token exchange role with the values below. So we can copy this quickly and then we need to find the um, Greengrass token exchange role that that Greengrass device uses. So if we switch into green grass, we can see under the core devices that we have hub 40. And then under that thing, we can look at the certificates. And under that certificate, we should see here that we have a policy token exchange role policy that's attached to that certificate. So if we go into that token exchange role policy, we can see currently that's linked to this token exchange role alias. So if we go on the left down in security to the role aliases in that token exchange role alias, we can click on that role here. This will take us into IAM where we can update the policy. So let's add some permissions to this policy. So we can create a new inline policy and I'll paste from the example that we were given. So you can see we have two errors. So this secrets manager, we need to put the, the account ID and the secret URL. At the moment, we only have one. So we'll take that one off. And we can go into secrets manager to get that ID. secret on it's there we can paste that back in the policy so hopefully those errors will disappear we'll review that policy and we'll have to give the policy a name and just expand that and check and go back to the documentation to check if that's the last thing other than opening the endpoints um, the dependencies should be added as you add the component. We can always add those manually as a later stage if we wanted to. The next part we need to do is to deploy the component, the KVS Edge Connector component. So if we go to deployments on the left, we can see here that we have a deployment was already created when it initially created the green grass hub so we can click into that deployment and we can revise this deployment go next and we want to add the kvs edge connector so 
we search there, we can see Edge Connector for KVS. Now what we need to do in the next step is configure this Edge Connector. So just highlight that and click Configure Component. And here we need to add the asset ID for the hub. And we can get that from SiteWise. So if I open another console window, switch to SiteWise. And go to this asset, hub asset. We can see this asset ID is what we need. So if we copy that and switch back. We can confirm that. Go next, next, and deploy. So if we click on the core device, we can see that the component has been deployed and it's running. So if we want to view the current stream coming into KVS, we need to adjust the settings for that asset within SiteWise. So we can see here that we have values for the live streaming start time. And that's set with this cron, which is detailed in the Edge Connector GitHub repository. So we can see here that they're using the cron time formatting. So if we set that to five stars, that should capture every minute, every hour, every day of the month and week. And we should see the live feed start to come in. So if we edit this asset, And then save. And when this is linked to the Grafana dashboard, the way that Grafana will tell the hub to update those values is by using this notification topic. So it will publish a message on this notification topic and that will tell the camera to update. So if we want the hub to update manually, we can just restart the component on the device. To restart the component, we can use this command, which uses the CLI, the Greengrass CLI that's installed on the device. So once that's restarted, we should be able to switch back to KVS and check that the stream is now ingesting. So if we check under video streams, camera asset one, under video playback, should see that working. I'll switch back to the device now and just run through a quick troubleshooting guide in case this doesn't work for you. The first place to start is to check the log folders. So if I open the file explorer with elevated rights, this will allow us to go into the green grass folder and here I can look into the logs. So if I sort them by recently updated, we can see that the edge connector for KVS log is at the top. Let's open that. And we should be able to see that the video client is connected and it's updating. And here you should see any errors that the component has. Let's look at some older logs where I did have some errors. Here we can see an example error this was due to me disconnecting the RTSP feed to demonstrate what would happen if the component could not connect to the feed in order to upload to KVS. 
If you do have a situation where you're receiving errors, probably the first place to start is check the local feed using VLC Media Player on the device. So here we should be able to open up a network stream using the URL that you stored in the Secrets Manager. So you can see on my device that this plays fine and I can view that on the device. So there's no firewall restrictions between the Greengrass device and the camera feed. You can also check the Greengrass log. This will show you if there is any problems with starting the component or any issues with Greengrass itself running. And then the other component that the KVS connector uses is the stream manager, and that will show you any errors it's had connecting to the KVS stream. And that's it for the device side configuration. Hopefully that's all working and we can move on to the Grafana setup. So let's switch back to the console and check the next steps in the TwinMaker video integration guide.